This is the 139 pound division in freestyle. John Fisher in the red on the left of your screen going against Kerry Colad in the blue. And this should be a good one, Jeff. Well, John Fisher has finished second an awful lot. He's been in the same weight class as a guy named John Smith who won six gold medals in world and Olympic competition, four of them world championships, two of them Olympic. And then behind Tom Brands, a world champion in 93 and an Olympic champion in 96. And so this is his first chance now to establish himself as number one. He's the experienced one here. Kerry Colat, fresh off of an NCAA championship, his second. He's now done with college, and he says, I'm glad that's over with. I can do what I want now because his main goal is to win the Olympic championship, and he is the young and up-and-comer. John Fisher never won an NCAA championship, and that seems uh, perfectly in tune with how the later years in that career happened. He never made top spot. Now this is his chance to shine. 139 pounds, the 31-year-old going against the 23-year-old Kerry Colat from Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. Well, he was second in the 92 and 96 Olympic trials, won the Smith, won the Brands, but he just won the 97 World Cup in Oklahoma. He was also the national champion in 92, and Smith was injured and did not compete. A point was given to Colat. He leads one to nothing. Fisher out of the University of Michigan. Dale Barr, his coach back then. He's a four-time All-American. Colat out of Lock Haven, two-time NCAA champion. Coach Poff there. Lock Haven being uh, Mettown, USA. Absolutely. Small school, but big wrestling program. We love it there. Pennsylvania, a hotbed, and great support for their wrestling programs on every level. Well, not a lot of action thus far. Collat with the only point. That wasn't really an offensive move, it was an escape. So he's again hit with a passivity call and put down. Fisher and again has an opportunity to try and turn him. Well, you're seeing also a wrestler in transition in Colat who has come off the college scene for so long and such a strong wrestler there trying to make the move onto the world scene, which is not always guaranteed. Two points now for oh. Fisher. And three for Colat. A huge flurry of action and another waiting. point. Yep. Well, the point is for the reversal. If you're going to give Colat three for that beautiful move he did, you got to give Fisher one for coming back and out on top. Absolutely, as you see that right now in control. Four three, the score. Fisher here is in more trouble than Colat. And no more points. They break the action and return to their feet. So Colat leads four to three. And what a beautiful move there. Fisher looking to try to score back points. Colat hooked his leg, got him out of position, and as he rose to his feet, realized that if he did sort of a half flip, improvise, and I really wasn't ever taught that move. <laughs> he dropped Fisher straight onto his back. It is still a four to three lead for the youngster, Kerry Colat over John Fisher. Colat on the left of your screen in the blue. And Fisher respects that shot of Colat yeah, sure now. Does. So Colat now called for passivity and will have to go down on the mat. Well, Fisher, I don't know here. He's gotten four points scored on him from being on top. Right. I would almost wonder. Fifty-one seconds to go. And he's looking for a high gut wrench here. Now he's sliding it down to the waist. Now it's a low gut wrench. He's got a good grip. There's two different defenses for each of those locks. He's got one knee on the side of Colat, but he cannot spin him. Now he's going down to the ankle. Looking for the ankle lace, and Colat doing a good job again of defending, and here Fisher seems to be getting the advantage of a lot of time on top. 20 seconds to go in the match. Fisher needs a point to tie. 
16 seconds. It's all on the line here. Will the bridesmaid become the bride? Colette no. on a double. Oh, and that's going to do it. Colette's going to win this. He'll hold Fisher here. Three, four points for Kerry Colad as the match ends. John Fisher in a bit of desperation, looking for the big move to tie it up. Instead, he is knocked to the ground. And Kerry Colad at 139 is your new national champion with an eight to three victory. We've been touting Colad as one of the bright hopes of USA wrestling, and perhaps he's ready to take that step. We'll be right back to Orlando with more National Championship Wrestling.